Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So, if you watched my last video, you will know I moved house and I'm currently filming in my filming. It's kind of like my room, so it's like a filming, music, you know, creative space for me. So, I'm actually so excited to have my own room. So yeah, it's really exciting that we could both have our own little rooms to do our, you know, our own stuff. See, I'm currently sitting next to my piano right now. I have not worked on this room at all. It's an absolute mess, so I'm not gonna show you. I've been working a ton lately. Not really had a chance to really get stuck into this room and like, and put everything how I want it. But yeah, anyways, I'm just so excited to have my own room. Um, I really love the lighting. It's too like big windows in the corner, so it lets a lot of light in. I think the only downside is you can kind of hear some traffic sometimes, even with the like windows closed, but I'm already starting to get used to that, so that's okay. Anyways, for today's video, I basically wanted to do a tiny little like homewares haul stuff that I've bought for the new place. So as you guys would have seen from my last vlog, we got a new bed. So we got a king size bed. Currently we're sleeping on my old bed because we had to like sort out bedding. So I'm going to show you some bits and pieces I got for the bedding. It's kind of boring, but... First of all, I got this washable wool quilt in the king size from Pillow Talk. The guy said that this is like perfect for all seasons. Keeps you warm in winter and cool in summer. So yeah, just gonna wash that all, air it out before we put it on the bed. We already started like washing some stuff so I don't actually have the stuff to show you. It's already on the bed. The next thing we got was this Hilton Eco Living Bamboo mattress protector in the king size also got this one from pillow talk i was shopping by myself for this bedding and it was literally so overwhelming because not only did i have to find like four different things i feel like everything has so many different brands and so many different types and i was like what do i get but i'm pretty happy with my choices but let me tell you my bank account didn't love it so next we had to get a sheet set so i got these from bed bath and table so they're the morgan finch Lux king bed sheet set they're 1200 thread count and they're egyptian cotton i'm super excited to finally sleep in the bed and try those sheets out we've already got them on the bed so i'll show you guys what they look like so these are the sheets i don't know if you can tell but they have a bit of like a shine to them they feel really nice but they're not like silky satiny. You can just tell they're luxury sheets. <laughs> they feel really nice and they have like a kind of like shine to them. Super excited. They were like, literally, look at the price. How much they used to be. I got them on sale though for like $170 or $180. But I can't believe how much they were full price. Also found that there's not a lot of I've also found there's not a lot of hing stuff around. Like I literally had to wait for the lady to get these into the shop and then she had to call me so I could pick them up because they literally had none. The last thing that I got was this quilt cover which was also from Pillow Talk. Oh my god, this quilt cover was literally the last one in the whole of Australia in a king size. And they happened to have it on the Sunshine Coast where my mum lives and I was like, mum, can you get it? Please. I absolutely loved it um, when I first saw it and I was like oh you know I'll look around for other quilt covers and then I was just like I kept coming back to this one so I was like I'm gonna get it so it's kind of similar if you've seen my like old bed cover from videos it literally looks pretty similar but yeah I love it it's like this I think they called it like a bandana print but yeah it's called the zebra quilt cover set in navy king bed so yeah i'm excited to put this all together and see how the bed looks i think it's gonna look awesome i think what i'll do is i will show you guys a little video clip at the end of the bed all put together because yeah brendan and i are so keen to try this bed like it's been sitting there for two weeks because we've just been so busy trying to find stuff for the bed literally haven't had time to like wash the bedding and also it took ages to actually get the bedding so so excited to finally 
sleep in that bed. Guys, so this is the finish bed. I think it looks amazing. The only thing I have to say is I don't know where the hell the other pillowcase cover is. I don't know where it is. I don't know where it's gone. Literally why the video is going up so late is because I spent like a week trying to find it. I literally cannot find it anywhere. I'm pretty frustrated about that, but <sighs> anyways. But I'll just put my old pillowcase on top. Oh my God. For some reason, I'm like, I really hope I didn't like throw it out somehow. Like, I don't know where it's gone. I've literally looked everywhere. So that's the finished product minus the pillowcase cover. Ugh, pray for me. I really hope I find it. So the next thing that I got is I picked up this three pack of um, tea towels by the Brain Country Road. <laughs> So I actually got these on sale for like $22 or something. They're usually $35, which is a bit pricey for tea towels. But right now I have Kmart ones and I don't really know how to explain it, but I feel like they just don't dry the dishes. They literally just like move water across the thing that you're trying to dry. So I just wanted to invest in some good quality tea towels. I heard that they're pretty good. They've even got like sort of like a towel lining on the inside and they are in the style zave it's got the pale gray pack so it comes with like a gray a white so like gray lines one similar to that and they seem like nice and thick so I'm excited to see if they actually dry my dishes properly moving on to another kitchen item so basically I got a hand mixer like maybe five years ago and I've been in like a number of share houses and for some reason I've lost the beaters to the hand mixer I don't know if someone took them I don't really know I don't know if I left them somewhere anyways so for the past like year or two because I think I lost them like two years ago I've been whenever I've looked up recipes I'm like I'm like oh that looks like a good recipe oh wait I can't make it because I don't have a hand mixer anyways I threw that old one out and I ended up purchasing a KitchenAid I am so excited for this one when I got it out of the box I was like oh shit I literally thought that they gave me a red one but they didn't so I got the almond cream one I'll unbox it right now for you guys so it comes with like all these different attachments and a little ooh, cute little KitchenAid bag. And this is basically what the top looks like. Ah. I literally was looking online and everywhere was sold out except for KitchenAid. They only had like 15 left and I was like, look, I'm just going to get it. It was also on sale. Pretty happy about that one. I love the color. It's so pretty. But excited to use that. I don't know what I'm going to make first. Maybe like banana bread or something sounds good hi guys it's mel from the future i thought i'd just pop in because i forgot to mention these in my homeware haul so i picked these up a couple of weeks ago so they're called the stasha um so basically they as you as you can see it says there they're a plastic free reusable storage bag so they're so they're made of pure platinum silicon and yeah i just thought these were an awesome idea because i tend to use um you know plastic ziploc bags to store like avocado and snacks when i'm taking it to work and all that so i thought these were an awesome idea you can actually pop them in the dishwasher to clean them you can put them in the microwave the fridge or the freezer you can even put them in like boiling water and like in the oven so yeah super versatile little thing the biggest factor of this is that environmentally friendly so i won't be using um you know as much plastic anymore so, so yeah i thought i'd just mention them in my video because i think they're such a like cool little invention they are a bit on the pricey side but i did get them on sale i think i got them for about half price so they do come in different sizes so these are the medium ones so these are the medium size so they fit 450 mils and they're about the size of a sandwich so i did also order a couple of like smaller snack size ones um, and you can also get like large ones and then like really large ones last couple of things and more decor items so the first one I got I actually got this like probably like October last year and I remember I bought it for like myself for my birthday um, I don't know if they sell these anymore in Urban Outfitters 
but I'm sure you'll be able to find something similar around. Um, so it's the Wire Moon Light Sculpture from Urban Outfitters. I literally have not even like used this yet. I haven't tried it out. So it's battery powered, which I love. Oh my god, it's so cute. I think this would look really cute above my piano or like my desk or something. I might even try and find some batteries and see how this looks turned on. Ready? Three, two, one. Ah, it's so pretty. Can't really tell because it's light in here. It's so pretty and I'm so happy it works because I've had this for a year so I can't return it. <laughs> Right, and the very last thing was actually a gift from my parents, which was so lovely. This little cute elephant with this fake plant at the top. So what you're meant to do is you're actually meant to leave it at the door with, with the face and trunk facing the door. And it's meant to be like a token of good luck. So I need to quickly get this back to the door. I don't think you can really tell, but it's kind of holographic. Um, and it's also scented. It's sweet lemongrass. It was really cute and a really nice little housewarming gift from my parents. I'll go put this one back. All right guys, so that's everything that I have for this little haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I think for my next video, I really wanna tackle this room and just organize it and make it a space where I can actually come in and do things. <laughs> Cause right now this is literally the only like clear clean spot in the room so yeah i'm keen to get that done and film it for you guys so make sure you stay tuned for that one and that is all for now i'll see you guys in my next video bye